Uh, so hi everyone today we will be understanding what is a maximum or a minimum spanning tree uh, in graph analytics uh, and what are the key features that uh, makes a, uh, a graph into a spanning tree so basically a spanning tree is a subset of the graph so we won't be considering the whole graph but a subset of it which has the below features it connects all the vertices with the minimum possible number of edges so it might be the cases that we might be having some redundant edges so that would be removed second thing it has a maximum weight among all the possible spanning trees that connect all vertices. So it's a bit tricky to understand this point. So uh, in case we are talking in terms of maximum spanning tree. Now in case of minimum spanning, this has to be the minimum weight. So it's just a vice versa. So it states that ki, uh, like as you said, ki, all vertices should be connected. So it makes sense that we might have a multiple spanning trees coming in. We might have multiple paths coming in. Right. So uh, the spanning tree is the one which has the maximum uh, um, maximum weight so this will be a weighted graph which has a maximum weight on summation of all the weights or either minimum weight on summation of all the weights so for example if we have a node with a graph with five edges and we uh, we like in like 10 ways we can connect all the edges all the vertices in the possible graph so the spanning tree would be that particular path that particular subset which has the either minimum or the maximum weight uh, every node that is present in the graph should have only one incoming node uh, and not redundant node. So we would be visiting each node just once in an MST and there won't, shouldn't be any cycles present in it, right? So if cycles are present, it might be the case that we would be uh, like we are form, if we form a loop inside the tree. So basically there are uh, four major points that we need to consider. One is all the vertices should be connected with the minimum possible number of edges. Uh, second would be it has either the maximum weight or the minimum weight on summation of all the edge weights. Uh, so if we have possible three uh, spanning trees, so out of the three, which ha whichever has the minimum or the maximum would be considered as a spanning tree. Third would be all the vertices, all the vertex should be visited just once. And fourth would be there should not be any cycles present.